A former Edmonton woman who now lives in New York could possibly have the best birth story ever. Last week, she delivered her baby basically in a New York minute in the back seat of a taxi. Take a look. Throughout her pregnancy, Chantelle McKenna liked to talk to her baby. I would always say, like, I wish you, like, big adventures. I guess he wanted to start life that way. The contractions started at 11 p.m. on July 12th, irregular at first. Husband Mark called the midwife, who kept advising them to wait. By 7.30 a.m., the doula arrived. They called an Uber car and left the apartment. The elevator doors open. There were six people on the lift. And Mark's like, she's in labor. New York, right? They don't get out. They're like, okay, come in. It's like, we're going in. Had a massive contraction in the elevator, surrounded by all these people. By then, the driver had left, so they hailed a cab. But Chantal's contractions came fast and furious. I was like, I can... I can feel his head, his head is coming. And Mark was like, no. The doula and him, Mark were like, no, no you can't. And I pulled my pants down and his head was coming out. That New York taxi pulled over and baby Joseph McKenna was born. Chantal has pulled the baby out and pulled him up to her chest. And so I'm holding him, he's breathing, he's crying, and I was like, Take a photo. I just lost. I lost it. And everybody was like clapping and cheering. There was a and huge weird. crowd of people. The cab driver like went like this. Who's that? What's this thing? Lying on the pillow? This is the calm after that crazy morning. Firefighters took the family to the hospital just a few blocks away. Baby Joseph is perfectly healthy, and his parents have the perfect New York joke. He did it his way. <laughs> and he'll probably be so sick of us telling the story. I know, right? <laughs> so according to the New York Taxi Commission, they don't track the number of births in their cabs, but it has happened dozens of times. And by the way, yes, the couple did give the driver a huge tip. That is the best story of the day. I know. I just, I can't even imagine. And those pictures, just that fear on her face, I can't even imagine. But yeah. thank goodness everybody's okay. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> really nice that they shared that with you. I really For like sure, that. For sure, yeah. So, all right. Thanks, Elaine. Thank you.